Hello, welcome to this video. This is gonna be a de-stashing video, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it because it's not really slash my stash. It's more like, let's swatch through all my beautiful indies and see if there's any that I can part with. So we are gonna to go to this drawer right here and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm doing this in preparation for another um, mystery grab bag de-stash that I'm going to be doing in like June probably. So we'll probably have about one of these videos a week. And like I said, it's not really like slash my stash because I'm not forcing myself to make quick decisions. But basically as I put each of these polishes on, I'm able to see in one to two coats if it's like something that I'm gagging over and I just have to keep. So these videos will all be, um, a little bit more extensive because I'm going to be swatching every polish on at least one um, nail. Well, all, <laughs> all of them are only getting one nail, but some of them I'm doing two coats. If I already know after just one coat, if I want it, then I know I want it. So some of the polishes like this one, I'm going to be keeping for the name alone. Um, Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. I am definitely going to hang on to that one. This polish from Different Dimension is so good. I think in this first set of five, I mean, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but there's sometimes when I go through all five polishes, I'm not able to de-stash any of them. And I'm so sorry, but I just love indie nail polish and I just can't help it. So we'll see as we go. But at the very end of the swatch in, I will show which polishes are going to be de-stashed or not. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do mystery grab bags again. So it's not because it takes like a really, really, really long time to list every single polish on a de-stash website. So I know it's not really that handy for you to collect a certain polish that you've been looking for. But see, I couldn't get rid of any in that first five. I'm so sorry. Um, so it doesn't make it very good for you being able to buy specific polishes. But for me, um, it is a much more manageable task if I can just send you guys mystery grab bags. So that also means because it's a mystery that the price point would be a lot lower than if I were listing these all individually on a D-Stash site. So that's the upside of it. So just... We got to just think about the positives. We got to keep our eye on the positives here. I know in an ideal world, I would have infinite time and be able to do it the absolute perfect way, but I just don't have infinite time. So anyway, here we go through five more. So I am pretty close to getting a bottle shot for you of every one before I swatch it, but there are some that I leave out and I apologize for that. But if I leave out the bottle shot, you can simply just rewind to right before because I am showing you like the lineup of everything being swatched five at a time every single time. So if you miss something, you can go back and look at it. But I'm really sorry if you're looking for like the specific name and I neglect to do a bottle shot. But see, there you have Stingy Jack. And um, so, yeah, I hope that you have some fun with this. I had mentioned in a recent Saturday Swatch Fest that I was doing this de-stash and then you guys asked me if I was going to be doing videos for them and I hadn't really thought about it. I wasn't actually planning on doing these videos um, and then the commentary was that you guys missed some of these longer format videos and like seeing what's in my collection. So ultimately if I'm able to get through all my indies before June, um, then you will have seen my entire indie collection if you tune in for each of these videos. So like this polish, I came back to do a second coat because I was trying to decide if it was so much similar to what was already on my thumb. And that different dimension is amazing, but it was really similar to what was on my thumb, that Dream Man lacquer, and I already knew I was keeping that one. So some of them I'm doing a couple coats, like that um, Ethereal, I decided my VNL was just way too strong for that polish. Um, but they are all gorgeous. By the way, all of these polishes have already gone through a previous screening, de-stashing kind of process. So these are already the ones that I kept because I wanted to keep for a long, long time. And now I'm just like, um, I have amassed a great deal of polishes. It's time to pare down again. All right, so we're going through the next five here. This is from Anchor. Why is it dropping out of my mind? Anchor and Hearts Lacquer. Um, 
this one is so so cute lots of little neon glitters honestly I'm gonna have so much fun with this series because all the time I'm swatching stuff with you guys like one nail at a time on um, swatch fest and then I don't I put it in a drawer and I don't look at it again for forever and so this is giving me a chance to pull out things again remember what I just like really really want to wear soon like this one is absolutely amazing I'm so excited the different dimension is going to be at the polish and dreams event um because she has one of my favorite brands ever this polish is so cool it's such a weird green packed with flakies it's just amazing this is one of my oldest ND polishes ever I purchased the entire um virtuous I think this is called virtuous polish women of valor collection there's something about the neon pigment that she used in this formula for this collection that is different than any other neon that I've experienced in life. So I don't know what that means about the pigment. I don't find that it's doing any kind of damage to my nails, but those neons are epic. Doing another coat here of this Super Chick Lacquer. I'm going to end up keeping this one. It is too amazing. That shimmer is so, so cool. So... These are the ones that I decided to de-stash in this buncheroni. Here are the next grouping of five. Are you going to play a little game with me as we go and see if you can figure out what I'm going to de-stash before I get there just by looking at the polishes? Um, spoiler, this polish is so, so good. This is one of my favorite polishes I swatched in this entire video. It's so beautiful. Um, <clears throat> I think cupcake polish very berry is that what it's called berry something is another one of my very very first indies so and I still have her in my collection she will stay around forever because not only is that polish an amazing linear hollow but she is sentimental to me so here we have one of my few polishes that I have from Cadillacer I think one of the nail polish conventions that I went to a couple of years ago, there was a brand there that was selling a bunch of other brands, like she's a stockist, and so I got a few Cadillacer from that, but otherwise all my Cadillacers are pretty much either uh, gifted to me or come from polish pickup, and it's not that many while we're talking about it. It's not that many. There are some brands that are a little harder for me to come by living where I live. This is this inc like incredible blingy looking gold glitter. It is so awesome. Um, yeah, you guys know how I feel about yellows and golds, but you're just going to have to hold on to your horsies here and see what I'm going to keep. This glam polish, amazing purple polish. How can I ever give away a purple glam polish? I don't think there's a way that I could do that. I just am fully obsessed. So I was already in the know about what I wanted after just one coat of each of those. So I'm ready to pass these along. Here are the next five, ladies and gents. This is what we're going to look at next. I'm having so much fun. If I didn't love... Don't worry, we're going to swatch that. I just filmed that after the fact. If I didn't love swatching... I wouldn't have this nail polish channel. So you gotta know how much I love painting my nails and swatching beautiful indie polishes. It is so relaxing. And um, yeah, there's nothing better than swatching a whole bunch of indie nail polishes. This is another brand that's going to be at the Polish and Dreams event. Can you tell it's on my mind? I'm so excited for it. It is going to be here in like a week? Is it like a week from now? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. Great Lakes Lacquer is also going to be there. You guys don't even know. So many brands that I am huge fans of are going to be at this event. It's going to be so exciting. I'm going to want to just leave my table where I'm supposed to be selling Moonshine Manny and go shop with all these amazing makers. It's going to be so great. So next, uh, was this one The Bebe or was this Leo? They look kind of similar. We'll be able to tell whether or not, which one it is by whether or not I keep it or not. I remember that I kept Leo and I go, I'm going to go ahead and pass along the bebe um, because they looked kind of similar. But this is, you look like seafood from Dreamland Lacquer. So obsessed. I love that polish. I love that part in the show. It's probably one of my favorite parts of Moana is you look like seafood. Oh, here's what I decided to pass along in this 
five. And here are our next beautiful five. So I think in each of these videos, I'm probably going to have like six or seven different sets of polishes. So that's what, like 35? No, it's going to be more than that. <laughs> There's probably 10 different sets. So 50 polishes per video. I don't know if we'll actually be able to get done by June, to be honest with you. You saw my Helmers at the beginning of there. I would say that the, so there's six drawers in each, each one of those Helmers stacked from top to bottom. And then there were like four, are there four black Helmers? And then there were like four of those colorful Helmers that I had pasted that um, scrapbooking paper on the fronts of to make them cute. But I did that like 10 years ago. And um, they're all like coming off. And then there's a bunch of white Helmers, which I just got recently. And I think there's like four or five of those. So how many Helmers is that, guys? That's like four plus five plus four. There's at least 13 Helmers there. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize there was that many Helmers. Help me. Help me, Rhonda. Um, yeah, so I would say that probably there, out of all those Helmers, there's like at least 10 of the drawers that are full with indie polishes. So... And you figure you can fit about um, 60 indie bottles in each Helmer drawer, I think. That's a major estimation on my part. That's probably super far off. Isn't this gorgeous? This is another one of those virtuous polishes. The coverage is just amazing. And guys, I bought these like nearly 10 years ago, I think. Eight to nine years ago. And that beautiful neon pigment is still standing out so, so well. I'm going to go home. I'm not at home. I'm... Um, making this narration while I'm waiting for Lincoln in therapy. But um, I'm going to go home and count how many bottles that I can fit in a full Helmer full of Indies. And we'll just see how close I got to. I think, what did I just say? I said 70. I'm going to say so it's somewhere between 70 and 80 bottles. That's my guess. This is another one of my oldest Indie polishes. No, that's not true. It's not, but it, I think this is the very first 9-0 polish that I ever purchased. I think I purchased that whole collection that this is from. And this is one of my favorites from it. This beautiful ILNP IL called Utopia. I didn't even talk about any of the polishes we just looked at before this set, did I? I just kind of talked right through it about all of my Helmers. Do you guys like Helmers or do you guys prefer a different storage method? I find that Helmers are pretty darn good. As you know, I used to keep a lot of my collection out on shelves that Tim custom made for me at our last house. But when we moved to this house, I just decided to try a different way. I was like, this is how I've been trying it. Let me go ahead and do it this way. And it is definitely not as visually appealing. I can't even pretend. Um, but it is highly functional for me this way. Maybe not so much when it comes to doing like comparisons for my mainstream collection reviews. Um, that was really easy when I could just see all the polishes really, you know, like hold the polish up right next to the wall and see which things are the closest. That made it really, really easy. But, um, yeah. So, alrighty, here we go through these shades. I'm going to do a second coat of the ones that I'm not quite sure about. Just look at that gray. It's like a grayish. It's so yummy. This is the only one I ended up getting rid of in that set. Here is our next five polishes. Some purples in there. Look at this polish called Salem. How could you think I would ever part with this polish? There is no possible way. This is the one that's on my thumb. This gorgeous one coat black is from one of Carolina's Halloween collections. And it's also the same name. It has the same name as my oldest son. So... It's just so cool. Oh, this is maybe my favorite painted phalanges polish of all time. I love this one so much. It's one of these um, interesting earthy greens that I love, like slightly swampy, and it has blue shimmer and fiery flakies. It's so cool. You're the best thing I never knew I needed from glam polish this is a purple polish from glam polish and so you can already guess what's gonna happen when we finish up swatching these five but um you know no spoilers if you're new here you may have no idea what my color preference is this beautiful ilnp sapphire shimmer is so gorgeous so so pretty so 
hopefully, well, maybe for some of you, for those of you who've been with me for a while, none of these brands will probably be new to you. But for some of you, this might um, introduce you to some new brands. Miss Chenandler Bong. Like I could get rid of this polish. I love it so much. I love the name. I love the color, all the flakies and the shimmer in there. It's so rad. I actually kind of wonder when we get to the end of this series, if you guys are going to be more on the side of, wow, I can't believe that she actually has that many indie polishes at her house. Because you guys know I am a hardcore collector. And if you didn't know, now you know. Um, or if you're going to be more on the side of like, actually, that wasn't that much. I expected it to be more. This is another one of my favorite painted phalange shades made by my friend Angie. So, so gorgeous. This like dusky gray, like it's like a gray brown eggplant. So cool. Fortune favors the brave. I love this polish. I apologize if anything about my lighting or anything with my camera work is not showing these polishes to be the absolute boss mode polishes that they are. Like I told you, all of these shades have already previously um, passed through my initial D stash, or maybe they've passed through two or three dashes, D stashes actually, to be honest. Some of them really have. Um, this polish is called the Lost Boys from Glam Polish. It's amazing. And you will probably notice that I'm going to keep a few polishes with this same kind of look my pointer finger and my ring finger well clearly not the same polish they are similar not the same I need a t-shirt with that I keep meaning to get back to making nail polish t-shirts but I'm failing at that um this is one of I think two hollow taco multi cream multi chromes not multi creams that I kept when I reviewed that initial collection um, I either gave them away as giveaways or I had previously destashed them. And I think I'm going to keep this one and destash the other sing the other one that I had kept. Um, just because like, especially when I'm looking through my whole collection in this kind of format, as I'm swatching through everything, I can really tell the things that I'm like super, super excited about compared to the stuff that I'm just like, meh. I don't know if this, I didn't do a bottle shot for that beautiful, um, hollow all the things top coat, I think it's called from nine zero, but that's what that was. That little twinkly top coat that I put on at the last second there. My bad. Here are the next five. Anyway, there's that other hollow taco. I was saying like, you can really tell when you swatch your collection next to each other, like you swatch a big bunch, um, rather than just looking at the bottles, like actually getting the feel of it on your nails really, really helps me to make decisions. And I can tell when I'm putting stuff on, like, Oh, yes, this brings me a lot more joy. And if I'm just not feeling it, um, then help, and then I know better. I know I know better, you guys. I'm just kidding. Um, but if you feel inspired to swatch through your collection in this way, you're thinking, I really need to de-stash, but that just seems so hard. Take it like one drawer at a time or a half a drawer at a time. This was actually, to be honest with you, the drawer that we're doing in today's video was not all the way full. It was probably three-fourths of the way full. You guys might have seen at the very beginning of the video. So take like a half of your Helmer drawer at a time or take, take 50 polishes at a time. Pull them all out and put them in groups of five and each even especially if you put them in groups of similar looking polishes, that super, super helps to make good decisions. So um, yeah, put them all there next to each other. Swatch them on your nails like this. It really helps you decide what you're enjoying more, what's giving you that, um, that joy. Like Marie Kondo says, if you hold it and it doesn't give you joy, and then, you know, for nail polish, purposes if you put it on and it doesn't give you joy well then you can pass it on to somebody else who might really really get some joy from it and like I said all of these polishes are amazing like I try not to be like full-on hoarder mode but if I were I would just simply hoard every single indie nail polish because I love them so much and I know that every maker who has made each of these bottles of polish with the exception of the hollow taco by the way I should say those are not indie polishes they are not hand mixed polishes but other than that like I know that these are all handmade little pieces of art from somebody's heart and then to their hands and then pour it into a bottle for me and you to enjoy. So that is not lost on me. Look at how juicy that juice of the jack lantern looks on my nail. Oh, it's so juicy. 
perfectly named polish. I think that we're getting kind of close to the end here. Um, I can see how much left that uh, talking that I need to do. <laughs> If you are still here, um, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me through this video. And if you're somebody who requested this type of format, I'm just so used to keeping things really short, quick, e like not easy. None of my videos are easy. The easy is not the word I was looking for, but <clears throat> easy for you to watch, glean the information that you need and move on with your day and decide if, you know, a certain nail polish collection is for you or not. So I'm not in the habit of doing these longer formatted videos, but if you are somebody who had requested this, I hope that I have, um, I have enriched your day in some way today. If, if you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe. If you are a longtime viewer and not yet subscribed, go ahead and just hit that subscribe button. I'll tell you what, it doesn't really do anything um, except for show my videos to more people is what it does. So it actually helps me grow my channel. It helps more people find indie polish, especially with videos like this. Um, it'll show up on maybe a few more people's suggested videos, and then they'll get to see all of this beautiful, look at this puppy, woo! All this beautiful nail polish, and maybe somebody who has been meaning to try indie polish but hasn't yet will be so inspired to come to like a polish pickup event or come check out Moonshine Manny, for example. I don't think I've talked about Moonshine Manny in this video too much because I'm not going to be de-stashing any Moonshine Manny in this video. I keep all my Moonshine Mannies, especially so that I can ever um, bring and polish back, like for an MSM comeback or whatever. So yes, there's no Moonshine Manny in here, but if you are new to my channel and you want to check out my brand, it is at moonshinemanny.com. My last name is Moon. So when I was picking my brand name, I knew I wanted Moon in there. And Tim and I like to be a little tongue-in-cheek. tongue, tongue in cheek, So we decided to go with Moonshine because if you have a Manny, you usually want to make it nice and shiny. So Moon, Shine, Manny. Three different words. So I actually decided to de-stash all five of these. I can't even believe that. That is a somewhat blurply purpley glam. What in the world was wrong with me in that moment? Oh, here we have another purple glam. So I have another chance to correct my mistake right here. Okay. I just looked, I got home by the way, home back to the narration here. And I've looked and there are 12 more indie drawers after this one. So some are fuller than others. The fullest one is holding 92 polishes. So I was close. I underestimated a little bit, I guess. 92 is like full, full, like there's no movement in there. So anyway, back to this watching. Let's see if there's 12 more drawers though. That means if I do one a week, that would take four months. April, May, June, July. Oops. Well, wait a second. 12. No, that's three months. <laughs> you guys are listening to me do that bad math and you're like, um... Something's not quite right with this picture. So actually that would be three months. So if I did April, May, June, we could start the D stash in July. That would work. That would be okay. That would be acceptable to me. Um, okay. So going through here, sorry, I neglected to put that rogue lacquer, um, polish bottle shot in there before swatching it. And those final polishes that I just zoomed through were the ones I was de-stashing. Here's the next set. So I know I'm speeding through these, but this is going to be a half an hour long video and I feel like I'm going very fast. So I'll have to wait and see in the comments if you guys like this long or if you'd rather I chop it up into smaller segments. That would mean more videos though. So I'm not sure about that. I feel like one a week is actually a lot. So, um, yeah, you guys getting excited for Bridgerton season two coming Friday. I started reading the series with my girlfriends in a book club and we just started reading the second book right before season two is about to start. So that is very exciting. And the narrator in the audiobook, she is so good. I keep forgetting that it's just one person. Any case, back to the polishes. This mystery prototype from Different Dimension is pretty similar actually to that other 
gold glitter that I swatched from them, but that one had iridescent flakies as well, which was really cool. But that's kind of interesting that I actually swatched both of them in the same little segment. So some brands I have totally separated out so that, um, like we'd be doing all of them potentially together. I don't know if I'll do that though, because I don't really want to like de-stash a whole brand in one video that doesn't feel too fun. I'd rather look at a bunch of different brands. So maybe I'll mix and match through a couple of, um, Helmers to do that. But I like that I have them separated because there's some of the brands that I have a lot of, such as I don't have all of glam separated into one, as you can see, because I do have a lot of glam. Um, but I think most, almost all of my polish, speaking of which that's what you're looking at right now is almost all in one area. And then almost all of my polish for days is in one area. Um, I think most of my Clarissa Carol and most of my KB Shimmer is all in one area. I need to get all my glam in one area for reals, though. Um, so anyway, we're going through this next set here. Oh, look how hot this neon is from ILNP. That's another brand that I need to get all in one area. Maybe this series is actually going to help me accomplish that, getting everything organized together so nicely, making it obviously easier to find things when I'm looking for them. So... That would be really, really good. I think I have most of this brand all separated as well. These bottles are a little bit easier to find and make sure that they're all grouped together. However, if I did have everything separated by brand, it would make this series a little bit less interesting because I wouldn't have a nice little mishmash for you. This Polish M is one of, I think, the only Polish M's I own. I think I might have had like two or three once upon a time. This salted caramel, that's a really pretty kind of yellowy beige. It's pretty sheer. And here are these polishes that I decided to de-stash. So we are almost to the last set. If this isn't the last set, I think this is the second to last set. So enjoy it. Savor these last few moments we have together. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I think this is the second to last set. Look at this. We've got another glam purple. I bet you can figure out what I'm going to do with this one. I remember this one was when she started using those gold flakies, the crushed gold flakies and everything. And I was just like, I adore this. That might have actually been a Bridgerton polish. I don't think I showed the bottle shot, did I? Oh, nope, I did. That was actually a Rapunzel polish from Tangled, I think, was the inspo. So here we've got an MLF thermal called that's all folks i don't feel like there's that much orange polish out there being made too frequently so when i spot an interesting orange i usually try to snag it up here is a polish for days is this the only one appearing in this video it's this interesting like i think of it as like a sweater gray with some gold flakies and some pink to fiery flakies. This is actually a Chloris de Carol. I apologize for not showing in the bottle. I think it's called, it's something like Besties. These are the ones that I decided to de-stash. I know. Are you shocked? <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So I was wrong. This, that was not the second to last one. I think this might be the second to last one. <laughs> Are you going to get mad if I just keep telling you each section is the second to last one? And I keep picking the purple glams to put on my thumb. Don't be mad at me. They're just so, so gorgeous. That was one of her Halloween horror shop polishes. I am basically obsessed with every polish she ever releases in any of those yearly Halloween horror shops. And it was always such a treat to swatch them. It was like a lot of swatching to do, but to be honest with you, they were some of my faves that she would release all year. So they were super, super fun. I think this is another one from that event. I usually was really drawn to the dark shades that she did for Halloween time. This is a painted polish. I think maybe the only one in this video, I think I have all of this brand separated as well. So you might see a few here or there because basically I don't have all of my stuff put in Helmers at all times. And then sometimes I'll just pull everything that's like out and meant to be sorted and I'll just pull it all and put it in a designated indie drawer because I'm not really organized. Like I'm a high quality organized person. Um, since the sarcasm, I actually don't really like big messes, but I'm not very organized. Okay. This is the last set of five that we're going to be looking at in today's video. 
We're kicking it off with another glam from, I believe, one of the Halloween Horror Shop events. And this one is so swampy and cool and so, so packed with flakies. I've got a Hollow Taco Hollow in here. This is a really cool peach linear hollow. I didn't save a lot of these shades, even though they were actually pretty spectacular hollows. Um, but I'm kind of looking for like a little something extra usually. So, um... Yeah, I think I ended up gifting a bunch of those away. Um, this is another glam that I apparently forgot to film the bottle shop for. So sorry about that. This is this beautiful painted phalanges gray. Another gray. Ah, the way to my heart is gray polish with some nice big flakies in there. And then another glam. Apparently, I'm not able to show bottle shots for any glams. So this is, um, I think, for, from the Scooby collection. I loved this orange. It had purple flakies in it. It was so cool. So here's what I decided to de-stash out of that. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments about the format of this video, if you're looking forward to the series. I know it was really long, but hey, I don't do a lot of episodes like this. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out a bit with me today, and I will see you back for the next one very soon. Bye!